Now let's look at file editing. We've already touched this point in the previous sections and now it is time to have a closer look. For this, let's go to our work directory where we created our shell script. Here we will edit our run.sh file using nano editor. I will add a few more commands to the script. I will print the current date using date command. I will wait for 2 seconds using sleep command. And I will print another text. And I will print the date again. I will save the file using Ctrl O, confirm and quit using Ctrl X. Let's execute the script again. It is printing the date, waits for 2 seconds and prints the date again. Let's now go back to the file. We can navigate in the file in a similar way as we did with the last viewer using navigation arrows left and right, up and down. We can also go to the beginning and end of each line with combination Ctrl A and Ctrl E. We can go to the last line of the file with Alt slash and to the first line with Alt backslash. We can also search in the file using Ctrl W. I will type in the echo string that I want to search for. If I press Ctrl W again and I press Enter, it will search for echo again. We can copy a line using Ctrl K and paste it using Ctrl U. I can do it twice. I can also copy paste multiple lines at once, pressing Ctrl K twice and Ctrl U. I would now like to quit the nano editor by pressing Ctrl X. But I don't want to save all the changes, so I discard them by pressing N. Let's go back to the editor once again. In the bottom of the screen you can see some most useful key combinations, such as Ctrl G to get help. And if I make the screen even bigger, there will be even more commands visible. I will now press Ctrl G to see the help. As you can see, there are tons of key combinations available for your service to make your work much more efficient. There is quite a funny story behind name Nano. The name is a recursive acronym which gets clear when written Nano's another editor. Nano was created as a free clone of the editor called Pico and as you can probably guess, these applications resemble the names for powers of 10. And Pico stands for Pine Composer which was the text editor for the mail client called Pine. It is a text mail client. Some people might still actually use it. It was quite useful to check mails when you work on a remote server. In general, text editors like Nano or Pico can be very handy when you don't have drag texts to file editing with a user interface. For example, when you work on a remote computer. There are also numerous other editors such as VI, Vim or Emacs. In my opinion, Nano is easier to learn the first editor as it doesn't have that much possibilities as VI and Emacs have. Nonetheless, later on you will probably want to learn tools for more advanced editing, such as writing code. All of the text editors have their own spies, so to say. I'll press Ctrl X to quit. There's one more command that I'd like to mention here, which is called touch. If I add a file name to the touch argument, empty file. It will create a new empty file with this name. Let's look at this file's attributes using ls with one additional argument, dash dash full time, to see the modification date with the seconds. Now let's run the touch command once again. We can see that modification date was updated to the time when the touch command was run last. 
In this and previous lecture we looked at how to view and edit files using most common utilities such as cat, less and nano. Each of these utilities have a wide range of shortcuts for efficient navigation, most common of which I summarized in the cheat sheet. If you want to try out other shortcuts you can find them in the internet at the corresponding documentation pages or in the blogs. This way you will familiarize yourself with the powerful capabilities these tools have. On a general note, there are so many applications for file viewing and editing, especially when we are talking about working with source code. Depending on the programming language, various applications offer a specific set of capabilities and shortcuts. I recommend you to try out many different editors and find the ones you like most and that suits your needs. It is always nice to know what tools are in your pocket and when it is the time to use them. In the next lecture we will look at file management to copy and move them around.